Baseball superstar Alex Rodriguez has been ordered to sit out all next season. He's accused of using performance enhancing drugs. The league's highest player says he'll appeal the ruling. Don Daler reports. The reduced suspension is still the longest in Major League Baseball history. After months spent reviewing evidence supplied by the MLB, independent arbitrator Frederick Horowitz ruled A Rod's conduct deserved punishment. Joel Sherman is an MLB insider and baseball columnist with the New York Post. He is setting a precedent here, and I'm sure he doesn't set a precedent unless he saw a paper trail and evidence that makes him confident that this is the right deal. The league alleged Rodriguez interfered with its investigation of Biogenesis, a now defunct Florida clinic that provided performance enhancing drugs to at least 13 players who received varying suspensions. The league also claims Rodriguez was among those who used testosterone and human growth hormones. Rodriguez called the investigation a witch hunt and stormed out of one session in November. He described the rankers' hearings on WFAN radio. I lost my mind. I banged a table and kicked. <laughs> a briefcase and slammed out of the room and, and just felt like this system, I, I knew it was restricted and I, I knew uh, it wasn't fair, but what we saw today is just, uh, it was disgusting. Rodriguez was incensed that his key accuser, baseball commissioner Bud Selig, would not have to testify. In response to the arbitration ruling, A-Rod released this statement on Facebook. This is one man's decision that was not put before a fair and impartial jury and relies on testimony and documents that would never have been allowed in any court in the United States. The Yankees, the Players Union, and Major League Baseball say they will accept the reduced suspension. Rodriguez says he'll take the fight to federal court.